Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to talk about pinhole cameras. The View Camera Store recently became a dealer for the Lensless Camera Company. They make pinhole cameras in 4x5, 5x7, 8x10, and 11x14. They basically have four focal lengths. They have an equivalent pinhole of a 50mm, the equivalent pinhole of a 75mm, and there's two other ones I'll show you in a little bit. They come in five different woods. You have your basic Baltic birch, you have zebra, you have mahogany, there's oak, and there's teak. So you have five different kind of woods you can get your camera in. And they're very friendly to work. I wanted to be able to show you the different focal lengths of the pinholes. This is your 50 millimeter, the extra wide pinhole camera. This is your wide camera, the equivalent of a 75 millimeter pinhole. This is like your normal, it's a, like a 150 pinhole, and this is a 225. So you've got a 2 inch, a 3 inch, a 6 inch, and a 9 inch focal length. And each one has different f-stops, and I'll go through that next. The 50 millimeter pinhole has an f-stop of what f-154. The 75 millimeter pinhole has an f-stop of f-231. And I never remember these, so I've got my, my cheat sheet here. The uh, 150 millimeter pinhole has an f-stop of f-385. And the 225 millimeter pinhole has an f-stop of 577. I'll do all the demonstration on my favorite one of them, the Zebra Wood 75 millimeter. Now you'll see in the front, here's your shutter, which is actually manually done. So you just flip it, and you can see the pinhole exposed here. And then when you're done with your exposure, just flip it back. To put a film holder in, there's two dowels to hold it in tight. There's a little protector here to keep it clean. So basically when you want to take your picture, just put the film holder in, put the thinner dowel in first, put the thicker dowel in. This is pretty solid in here. So when you want to take your exposure, just like with a view camera, just pull out your dark slide, flip this open to do your exposure, and then when you're done, just flip it back and put your dark slide just right back in like this. And when you're done, just take your film holder out, and this is just a little protector here to keep your camera clean. Put the dowels back. You'll also notice there's a quarter inch thread for when you're doing horizontals. And on the other side, there's a quarter inch thread for doing a vertical photograph. So they're very simple cameras. And for those who want to get a little bit better results with reciprocity, since all pinholes usually are very long exposures, you could use the uh, Expo Dev software with a film test. And if you go on the website, there's a chart for all the different f-stops. The um, Expo Dev software goes to the nearest number with, in terms of one-sixth of a stop. So the 50 millimeter is actually f128 and one-half. The 75 millimeter is f220 is f231. So the closest to that is f180 and two-thirds. So the chart is here, and I do have it listed on the website with the exact numbers. But this would be a great way to get involved with large format photography, very inexpensively, because the camera includes the lens, which is actually a pinhole. I think these are kind of fun cameras. If you have questions, please give me a call. Thank you for watching.